It seems that after you help to win the war, you'll still have another battle on your hands. The Battle of the Bulges. And away you go to health and happiness. Sup, gang? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you're new. I was asked to do a video on my favorite tips for beginners starting out on their fitness journey. <laughs> this is good enough for people that are just wanting to continue their fitness journey and maintain as well. But primarily beginners starting a fitness journey in 2019. There are six things you need to focus on and it's a little piece of each six. Let's not get too serious. It looks much simpler than it has any right to be. And we have to understand that simplicity and why we think it must be more complicated. Our minds are com complicated somehow. Okay, thinking, breathing, moving, sleep, nutrition, and hydration. So I'm gonna to touch on something small from each of those things to help you out. Number one, when it comes to thinking, this is not that serious. I went through stages of being obsessive about it. I had an eating disorder at the end of it all because oh my goodness, we abuse ourselves mentally so much about this kind of thing. Let's not be, you know, stressing about our, all of the ingredients and what I'm about to eat optimally, totally, perfectly healthy. I do live that way day to day. However, I'm gonna eat a cookie. I'm gonna eat gluten every now and then. I'm gonna have dairy every now and then, but live your life, okay? <laughs> it's fun. I did try to be optimally healthy for a very long time and I was not as happy. You're hangry and we know it, clap your hands. I like a glass of wine every now and then. Who knew? So just don't get too serious. Make sure you treat yourself, especially during holiday times because that's important. Don't miss out on that stuff. Breathing, make sure you breathe into your belly all the time. Are you in the car driving to work? Try to push that seatbelt out with your belly. You gotta make sure that your core is expanding in all directions with your breath. I am going to post below a video that I have on breathing that explains that in huge detail for you, how that affects your health and your body and your fitness journey. So check out that video below. Are you standing in line at a grocery store? Breathe into your belly. Just, you can practice it anywhere, just be mindful of it movement. Make sure you have somewhat of a plan. You want some kind of a plan. Failing to plan is planning to fail. To succeed in any task, one must make careful plans. So movement is hugely important. What you want to do is be weight training, whether that's body weight like yoga or such, or weight training with weights at least two days per week would be optimal. You gotta be building that muscle after the age of 45. It's really easy to lose a pound of muscle a year, so come on, keep that muscle up. That'll keep your body burning fat even when you're at rest. I will post below another video that I have done on BMI, and is that really the bee's knees, body mass index, things like that. You can look for a BMR calculator that's different. That, is, that will show you how much your body is burning generally at rest. You can try that calculator online. Don't get too wrapped up in counting calories. Yes, you are guaranteed to lose weight if you eat in a caloric deficit. However, you can also lose a lot of hard earned muscle that way, so please be careful. A calorie is not a calorie. It's not just like calories in, calories out. There are tons of videos on my channel that explain that in more detail if you're interested. And you wanna be doing flexibility training a minimum of four days per week, ideally six days per week. I will post another video below in the description box on stretching and how important it is. Your muscles share frequencies with your organs along the same meridians. So stretching can impact your organ function as well. Very, very important too. And then cardio. Don't kill yourself doing cardio. Long, steady state cardio is boring. Too much cardio is gonna just totally annihilate the muscle that you've built. So I go for an hour walk every single day. You don't even have to do that much. You could do high intensity intervals. That is awesome for burning fat. That's probably one of the best ways to burn fat. That keeps your body burning fat after the high intensity interval is over. So check that out. I recommend cardio about three days per week if you want. If you wanna be like me and just go for a leisurely walk for an hour a day, do that. Just keep moving. Sleep. 
please try to sleep from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. is when you get all of the physical repair you need, and from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. you're getting all of the mental and emotional repair you need. You don't really get repair outside of the hours of 10 to 6. You get rest, but not the repair that your body is needing. Again, I will post a video in the description box below explaining sleep in detail, how that is affecting your health, and how it can prevent you from burning fat. So check that out. Nutrition. People always ask me, how do you get rid of the bloat below the belly button? So that little pouch down there between the belly button and the pubic bone, if you have a pouch down there, that is inflammation. Anything below the belly button is inflammation. So the top five inflammatory foods are alcohol, gluten, dairy, corn, and soy. Try to stay away from those and you will notice a huge reduction in that low belly pouch. Promise. Check it out. So that's the basics of nutrition, hydration, please, please drink. Half your body weight of pounds in ounces of water per day, starting in the morning. And those are my top tips for beginners starting a fitness journey in 2019. Again, don't be too serious, trust the process. Stop constantly changing your programming and diet just because you don't see immediate results. Trust your coach. How many times have you heard that said? I know, it's insane the amount of times that I have heard that said, but trust the process. You're not gonna notice immediate results. If you thought this video was helpful or informative or entertaining at all, please give it a thumbs up for me. Please comment if you have any questions for future Q and A's and I'd be happy to answer those for you. Please share this channel. 90% of the videos on this channel can help heal more than 90% of any health, wellness, and body image challenge. That I can promise you. If you would like notifications of when future videos are posted, please hit the little bell notification button and you will be sent a notification each time I post a new video. Until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun starting a fitness journey. It's amazing. You're gonna feel amazing. You're gonna end up looking amazing. Worked for me, works for everyone. Until next time, see you then. Bye.